This is Classical Conversation, Cycle 1, Week 4, Science. For this lesson, you will need your Van Cleave 201 experiments. It's number 62, number 62, pollution. For this lesson, you will need a one-gallon glass jar, red food coloring, a one-cup measuring cup, and a spoon, and water. So the first thing that we do for this lesson is give ourselves a half cup of water. My measuring cup is a one cup because you will need that for the additional steps and my cup has a half cup indicator on it. So that's the first step. We put that in and then we're going to add two drops of red food coloring. Mix that up. As you can see, it makes the water really red. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Okay, then you're going to add one cup at a time until you get the water to go clear. The lesson says that it takes about seven cups, but in science, we know that things are not always a given, so we will start with the seven and see how it looks. Okay, that's the seven cups and I hope you can see on the screen that the water is pretty red still so I'm just going to keep going it's eight nine ten eleven twelve 13. Okay, we're at 13. It's still pretty dark, even if I move my shirt away. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. I'm not sure I'm going to clear it. I'm going to move my shirt still that way. Okay, I'm going to pause it and get some more water and we'll see if we can make it to the top and see if it'll clear out. Okay, I'm back and I'm just going to try to pour until I get to the top and see if I can get the water to be clear. Okay, it's pretty clear. I will move. You can see it's a, it's a pretty pale color, um, but it didn't completely dissolve the food coloring. Um, the purpose of this lesson is to demonstrate that when a toxin, a pollutant, a contaminant, whatever word you want to choose, enters the stream or the river, that even if it is heavily diluted to a point where you can no longer see the pollutant, it doesn't mean that the threat isn't there. So if the animals swimming in the stream come in contact with the pollutant or animals for instance, like a deer or, or a cow come to the stream to drink, they may not be able to see that there's a threat in the water that could harm them, but the threat is still there. Um, so what we want to stress to students with this lesson is that when a contaminant reaches the water, at first it may be highly concentrated, but the more water that it, it gets mixed with, so as it's fed down a river, it becomes very spread out. And so we 
can no longer see the danger. If we were to drink from the stream or swim in the water or the, the animals that are in the stream can't see that there's a threat there, but the threat is there. Okay, so there we have it. This is cycle one week four science. It's number 62 in your Van Cleave. Um, in our classroom, I'm going to have enough water for you to fill the gallon, which is about two gallons, even though this is a one gallon jar like it calls for. But unless you choose to maybe do one drop of food coloring instead of two, I don't think you're going to be able to get this water to be clear. So I would suggest that you try maybe one drop of red food coloring. We will try that instead. And um, I think the kids will enjoy this lesson. And it's a good lesson to demonstrate to us that in science, you know, we can expect an outcome, but that doesn't mean that it's always going to happen in science. What we predict will be the end result doesn't always happen. I've saw that in many times with our science experiments at CC. And I think that's a good learning experience, uh, learning experience for the students is that we can make all kinds of predictions in life and that's what science is all about. And we just have to see what our prediction is going to um, produce. So I hope this is helpful and have a great day.